looking at drum readings. Let's do a quick one like this, and then I'll change it, and we'll do some of the ones that are on the eighth diopters. All right, so we've got the spear lines come into focus at minus two, and the cylinder lines come into focus at plus one, and the axis wheel reads, it should actually read zero because the axis wheel doesn't have 180, it has zero. So, all right, so if you look at the power drum, we started out at minus two. So we lined up right here with minus two. This was our sphere reading. And then we went to a plus one. And that was where we got our sill reading. And then our axis wheel, what does it say? Is it zero? So how would we write this prescription out? I think everybody knows that, well, the sphere lines and that axis are associated, right? So minus two and the axis is at zero. So we're going to write 180 because you can't write zero in the prescription. And then what we want to know is how far from this minus two to the plus one did we go? And when you're looking at a power drum, like right on the lensometer, I mean, I always just count them up. I say, well, okay, from minus two to plus one was one jump, two jump, three. And so we went three diopters in a plus direction. So we went plus three. Does that make sense? Another way to think about it, especially the ones that are, you know, one side is a minus and one side is a plus, you've got to go at least all the way to zero. You know, we went at least plus two just to get to this zero point. And then we went another diopter. And when you add those two together, you get the plus three, which is what we have in the cell. Let's try another one. Let's say we focus right here for our sphere reading, and then we're focused right here for our sill reading. So anyone take a crack at what the actual sphere reading was that we got? Negative 2.87. 2.87, yeah. And then what power, draw, uh, power reading did we get for the cylinder when the cylinder was focused? Minus 0.87. If you're still struggling with remembering those, um, the, the dioptric increments, I'll really seriously um, get those into your memory bank because that will make this process a lot, a uh, lot easier. And then let's say we had the axis wheel set at uh, 39. So how would we write this prescription out? We we'll start with our spear lines, right? So minus 2.87 and our axis wheel is at 39. And then what was the distance that we went from the minus 287 to the minus 87? Plus two. Plus two. Yeah, and if you count them up, you just say, okay, well, there's one diopter and there's two diopters. So we went plus two. Wanna do another one? Say we focus here for the sphere, and we focus here for the sill, and the axis wheel is 135. So what do we got? So what was the power that we got for the sphere? Here's the two, there's a quarter, we're right in between two and two and a quarter, so we're at plus 212, right? So we got plus 212 here. What about the cylinder lines? We're right here. This is a half and 75. So what's in between that? 62. All right, so then how far did we go when we're gonna write this out in the prescription? Sphere comes first and the axis wheel's 135. And then how far did we go from 212 to 0.62? For this one, I think you could just subtract it. it was for you guys that like to put them in your calculator, minus uh, 212, minus 0. 0.62, and I get, what do you have? Minus 150. Plus 150. All right, to get to this 0. 0.62, we're going in a minus direction, so we're losing that plus power. So the distance actually here is minus 150. So that's the value there. 
I'm not sure if that was just a mistake, but if you look, when we went from this 212 and we headed this way, we were going towards the minus. If I wanted to read this in plus cylinder form, what would be an easy way to just switch, switch these um, around so that I get my sphere lines and solar lines at different, um, at the opposite powers? I just rotate the axis by 90, right? Yes. So if I have an axis of 145 instead of 135, then this becomes my sphere and this becomes my sill when I do that, which would then allow us to write the prescription as plus 62 plus 150 at axis 45. I do have one, one that you do um, slightly different where it's kind of what, um, what power wheel and power readings are you expecting with based off of the prescription? This one might be helpful whenever you are verifying a pair of glasses because you look down and you're expecting if it's a minus two, then when you put it at the sphere and you're expecting a minus two. And then when the sill takes place, you're expecting what you're expecting. So if this was my prescription, what sphere lines and cylinder lines and axis wheel readings would I be expecting? So for the sphere lines, what power drum readings should I expect? Negative two. Negative two. And what axis wheel should I expect? Zero. Oh, good. I was about to write 180 in there. Exact. Good. Because these two are associated, right? And then what number am I expecting when my cylinder lines come into focus? For that, you want to add those two together because they're because um, we're going to go from a minus two and we're going to plus three to that. And we come up with plus one plus one. 